What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to our Metal Gear Rising. So, uh, it's box time. I don't know how to use the box, though. A pair of nano paste. Immediately restore cell gauge. There we go. So I have two. Oh, oh god. Okay. Oh shit, I need to hold it. No, you see nothing. I'm just a box. Oh shit. Okay. Never mind. They found me. Stealth did not work. Hey, it looks like we're a fighter. This is about to be a shit show. We're about to see how good I got. I don't know if I can do this. Oh no. Let me. You know what? Let's just let's just hit the restart and. One of them? Yes. Three of them? Mm. This guy will see me. Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh no, 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 please stop! I just wanted to see what's inside of this. It's a BP hollow chip. I need those. Those are good. Chip without fighting these three guys. I need to wait until this dude turns around or passes, and then hope that that one doesn't see me. You're gonna turn around next.
way for him to pass. I think because of where I'm at, I can avoid the one guy. He just won't be able to see me. At least I hope. I need this guy to turn around, okay. This is gonna be the hardest part. I need him to turn around, I need both of these guys to turn, and then I need to do it while this guy is jumping and not paying attention. One's gone. Come on, turn, you bastard. Turn. How far is this guy gonna go? Alright, he is just now turned. But I gotta wait for my man up top. He is turned. Turned, turned. Where is this guy? What are you? came from there. It looked like there was something up there. Yeah, there is. How do I... Is there any way for me to get that? I saw it, like, as I was leaping down, and now I don't know what it is. I don't even know. I, I want it, though. Oh, shit. This is... Alright, well, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Let me... Instead, worry about what I can do, which is open up this door and go inside here and grab uh, that and force this thing to go away. Look at that, it's an invisible wall.
Ah, this would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first, you need to take a dump. I... wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A uh, tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlay to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. Do I need to jack one of those things? Well, I gotta make it over to that door, I think. Right, right, right. I thought you said stealth ops would be a special. Trying to keep the dudes alive as a uh, last minute heal if I need it. Continue to increase security, they may shut out all outside network connections. Please do your best to avoid being seen. These 
Oh, they're like virtual brains. Creepy. Those were cyborg brain casings. Da, we saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes, this must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus, are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait, the cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Attack, jump, dash. You guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto Cyborg's heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. the amount of uh oh I've like navigated almost all the way up to the roof. supposed to go oh here we go it's marked that terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs 
Let's try using it to access the lab server. Titan, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. yes we'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Tecumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. He definitely seemed familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. <laughs> God, get off of me. Shit, I grabbed the right arm, not the left arm. No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. reeks of big fight.
a tank. This bastard is blocking the way. Push that thing back. It's a tank. Consider it unparryable? No, it seemed like heavy attacks were knocking it back, but maybe not. There we go. Then switch to bike Careful! It is all your battle now! Device that I'm in selection mark pulse disabling UGs and cyborgs. Communications. Create a screen that impairs sensors. Little first push though. It has switched to bypass mode. Careful, it is all new battle now. Ah, second hit got me. No! I swear I'm getting these parries up. can suck a dick! Oh god, they still got me anyway. I still got a nano paste. Dude, these 
these sweeps are ruining me. Too bad. Not too bad. Right. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. Ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. <laughs> Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshall and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs. You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Cap. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin out! <laughs> Alright, well, with the boss down, we are gonna wrap up here. Um, like I said, we're kicking this up to two episodes a day, so we'll have two more coming your way tomorrow. Starting to, uh, man, I'll tell you what, though, one thing I noticed with this game compared to Sekiro, man, my fingers hurt playing this because you are, you're just like constantly attacking and then still having to like throw in the quick counters for the parry. Um, man, like it's fun, but like you can definitely see, like having never played this, I, it almost feels like this game was like heavy inspiration for Sekiro. But anyway, we'll have more coming your way in a bit. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see y'all then.